Anna Maria Rosa Nicoletta was born in Naples, Italy on the 25th of March, 1715. Before even being born to Francesco Gallo and Barbara Basinson, Anna's mother is said to have dealt with demonic attacks during her pregnancy, and so Barbara went to see the man who would eventually become canonized as St. John Joseph of the Cross. St. Joseph comforted her, telling Barbara that her afflictions were because her daughter would become a great saint. Though a virtuous child from an early age, doing many prayers and works of personal piety, Anna was confronted with major trials when she was 16. Her father, who was less pious than Anna's mother, desired that she marry a young suitor. Anna had decided that she would give herself to God, so she declined the offer. Her father was enraged and beat her with cords and eventually locked her in her room with only bread and water. Mercifully, a priest called Father Theophilus was able to reason with Anna's father, and he repented allowing her to remain celibate. Rejoicing, Anna joined the Order of Peter of Alicantra, a Third Order Franciscan group. In 1731, she took the name Mary Francis of the Five Wounds of Christ. She continued to live at home after taking vows and received spiritual direction from a local priest. Unfortunately, this priest tended towards Jansenism, a heresy-laden theological movement. There were five main points of Jansenism which would later be condemned as heretical in the papal bull Cum Accusione by Innocent X. The first Jansenist position which was condemned is the idea that some commandments of God are impossible to just men, though willing and endeavoring according to the present strength which they possess. The second position was that fallen human beings can never resist grace. The third was that for man to gain merit in his fallen state, freedom from necessity is not required, only freedom from compulsion. The fourth was the necessity of enabling interior grace for every single act, even for the beginning of faith. Fifth was the concept of Christ dying only for those who would ultimately be saved and enter into heaven, rather than truly for all men. These ideas Innocent X described as rash, impious, blasphemous, condemned with anathema, and heretical. However, this document condemning Jansen's positions was not released until 1851, many years after Mary's death. In her own time, Mary suffered under the tutelage of this priest with his Jansenist errors. Throughout her life, Mary of the Five Wounds experienced many miraculous experiences, including the pain and perhaps even the marks of the stigmata. Though of poor health, she practiced mortification, as well as taking on the sufferings of the souls in purgatory. Furthermore, she was known as a great counselor to priests who wanted help regarding their penitence. Later in her life, when Mary left her parents' home, she went to become the housekeeper for another priest, and eventually died on the 6th of October, 1791. Fifty years later, she was beatified in 1840 on the 20th of April. Mary Francis of the Five Wounds, Ora Pronobis.